Holmes here from Red Tractor Nation. I'm here today in Penfield, Illinois at Historic Farm Days and we're going to talk to Dale Nixon and his grandson Abe Nixon and who is, how old are you Abe? 10. Abe is 10 years old and this is his tractor that his grandfather built for him and there's a reason that he did this and the reason is we would like to make sure that we keep young folks interested in these old tractors because if we don't keep them interested in the old stuff, it'll just go the way of the dinosaurs. Nobody will care about them anymore. And these old pieces of metal got a lot of history and a lot of stories behind them. Now tell us what you did to this tractor, Dale, to make it special for your grandson. Well, when I bought, I bought the tractor, it had a gas engine in it with a blown piston. Okay. I have converted it to a diesel, I put a diesel Kubota engine in it. Wow. Uh, I changed the rear end because I didn't like the brake system with individual brakes and then I put a four and a half gallon fuel tank on it because we plow, go to plow day. Okay. And to run all day we get four and a half gallons. So Wow. Uh, Just sips diesel. It so I've made a I've made a miniature for of my tractor that I plow with okay. for him is what I've done. Excellent. So uh so do, do you use this to plow, huh? On plowing days, huh? So how long have you been doing this? Two years. You've done this for two years since you're eight, huh? You're almost a veteran now. So uh, are you gonna keep, you gotta hurt. <laughs> a little bit. You can look at me a little bit. So Abe, are you gonna keep on with the tractors? Yes. You got tractor fever now? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, he does. So. Uh, when you use a small tractor like this to plow, are there anything, is there anything special you really got to do to it to make it, make it able to plow? We just added, I've added fluid to the tires and wheel weight. To make it heavy so you can keep yeah. it. And I guess it's kind of special. I put a dual on my land you, wheel. You got a dual over here on this side. Yeah, to, like the big tractor. Like, just like the big tractor, huh? I made a big tractor out of it. So, <laughs> so we got a miniature version of, a, big, of tra a big tractor. And then you've done pretty much the same over here. With mine. With yours. Excellent. So yes. much fun. So you guys go plow together? Yes. That's great. Out plowing together, grandfather, grandson, keeping the keeping the tradition alive. And uh, you guys are here uh, with the 25th anniversary of chapter 10. Yep. Well, I'm a member here. You're a member. So, well, he is too, matter of fact. Heck yeah. You gotta be a member, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, congratulations, sir, on uh, 25th anniversary of the International Harvester Collectors Club Chapter 10. And to you, Mr. Abe, thank you very much for keeping the tradition alive. This is Ed Holmes for Red Tractor Nation. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, be sure and hit the like and subscribe button so we can keep bringing great tractor stories like this to you.